The American rescue attempt that failed to save an American citizen held hostage by Al Qaeda. Luke Summers now pleading for help My in a new video Summers. and this evening an urgent new plea Summers from his family as well. A dramatic message to, to the America terrorists. Again. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross tonight. The White House today acknowledged that 33-year-old American hostage Luke Summers was the key objective of a U.S. rescue mission in Yemen nine days ago that failed to free him. My name is Luke Summers. I'm Summers' hostage old. plight became public today after Al-Qaeda posted this video threatening to kill him three days from now. I'm looking for any help that can get me out of this situation. I'm certain that my life is in danger. U.S. officials say Summers was moved just two days before the November 25th rescue mission in a remote area of Yemen, led by Navy SEAL Team 6. A number of other hostages being held by Al-Qaeda in a mountain cave were freed. This is one of the hardest military operations you can do. This is not the movies. A senior administration official told ABC News today the Navy SEAL rescue plan for Summers was approved by the president 48 hours after the White House received it. And the White House press secretary today said there was no unnecessary delay. Once there was uh, concrete information and a plan in place, the president promptly authorized this mission. Late today, Summer's brother Jordan and mother Paula posted this heartbreaking message to Al-Qaeda on YouTube. Please show mercy and give us an opportunity to see our Luke again. He is all that we have. Summers, who grew up in Sacramento, California, is now the fourth American to be threatened with execution by terrorists unless the U.S. agrees to negotiate. So tough to hear from his family, Brian. Thank you.